Drones, they've got a bad rep over the years, even the good ones. But off late, they've been becoming a popular tool for promoting Northern BC. Check out this YouTube channel above Tumblr Ridge, for example. It has over 49,000 views for drone footage of the area's majestic waterfalls. And then, there's Maverick and Goose here, who've decided to take their drone game in Quenel to top gun levels. Basically, I've always been inspired by uh, piloting a helicopter. When I saw that the drones became affordable, it was a way for me to see the world from above. Flying this drone all over Quinell's rivers and hills has also helped David deal with his fear of heights. It's also helped him and Greg access Quinell's beauty from a bird's eye view. Top of calibration right now. I made a decision that I wanted to showcase uh, a lot of the beauty of Quinell and I wanted to use that uh, to promote a little bit more of Quenelle here because this is a beautiful town. I moved here and I completely fell in love. Unlike recreational drone pilots, David and Greg are governed by stricter rules. They can't land and take off anywhere. Each flight has to be filed with Transport Canada just as normal pilots would with a flight plan and emergency options for landing. They also require at least 80 hours of training to be considered professional drone pilots. Clearance above 60 feet. Transport Canada asks us to have at least the pilot and a co-pilot on scene, which the uh, co-pilot's uh, sole responsibility is to watch the drone and ensure that the drone does not uh, collide with any obstructions or, or have any risks. And uh, the pilot's uh, job is to ensure that the flight's going to meet all the criteria and requirements for the Transport of Canada regulations. Yeah, that'll be a good spot right over there. But once you get past all those papers, the sky all right, the drone's 30-minute battery time is your only limit with the fun you can have with aerial imagery. It's so much fun that the people of Quinell and local businesses in the area are already starting to take notice of these guys. We just put up a post of uh, the West Quinell the footbridge and the, and the Moffat Bridge on the page and people actually loved it. So we take uh, beautiful images of Quinell and that's where they start to understand that it's not supposed to be to invade their privacy. So they actually love it. But there's one thing that sets David and Greg apart from the aerial imaging services in the area. They intend to put their drone up for free to assist with wildfire management. We don't have to wait an hour or so for a helicopter to come out of uh, Kamloops or Prince George or other places. If there's a suspicious fires in Quenelle, we'll put the drone up for free. The drone will go up and try and spot those fires before it becomes bigger. And this way they can come and we can fight those fires while it's manageable instead of getting bigger. I see a lot of people, including myself, we always uh, we either walk or drive, always looking down, and we forget to see the bigger picture and how beautiful Quenelle actually is. Above Quenelle, I'm Anand Chandy for Shaw TV.